Luis Luis Sandoval, firehype.com, here with Gabe Rosado. Gabe, you were BKB before, you're doing it a second time, man. Tell me tell me how you're feeling about this fight coming up April 4th. Um, I mean, I feel good, man. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, exciting to go back to BKB, defend the belt. You know what I'm saying? So it's going, it's going to be a great show, man. You know, I heard they, I read they were gonna put some uh, some chips inside the gloves to measure your 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 speed and your power, man. You heard anything about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you yeah, think, yeah, what do you think about that? No, I'm all for it, man. It's a it's a chip that you know it measures the the force of the punch, the speed, and um, how, the pounds per punch. I'm saying mm. so. I mean, I think it's something that is a stat that they're gonna put on the t on the television. You know what I'm saying I think it's like something that the fans are definitely gonna. I mean, they're entertained by. Mm -hmm. So I'm for it. BKB man, is it, is it going to be? You think we're going to see more fighters making that transition over, even if it's only a temporary one? But to kind of, you know, we see, we see new Curtis Stevens, we see other guys make that transition. Do you yeah. think we see more of it now? Yeah, without a doubt, you know, um, Soto Carraz is on the card as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, you see me and Soto fought back in 2012. Um, I think so, man, because you know, it's um, it's entertaining. You know, it's boxing. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's not like it's uh, it's not like the rules are different. It's boxing. It's just you know. Shorter rounds and uh, shorter minutes for in, in a circle without a ring for a faster pace, yeah. more of a toe to toe type of action. And the money's good, so of course, dudes is going to want to, you know, get a piece of it. Do you, you know, with that said, you know, no ring, no ropes, none of that. Do you feel almost kind of like you have to fight a certain way? You have to fight aggressive? You have to fight to, to get a knockout in there? Do you feel that way? Um, you know, you, you, you have to be busy. You have to be busy. You, you, it's important that you win each round. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it does make you fight um, at a quicker pace, but I, I think it benefits me because I think you, you, I mean, you can see that with the Brian Vera fight. Mm -hmm. You know, with the Brian Vera fight, you know, there's really no time to be thinking. You know, it's, it's all about reaction, it's all about um, just being the quicker guy. And I think when I fight like that, when I'm, when I'm just reacting to shots and I'm just going, th you know, going through, um, just flowing, you know, I think it, I think that's when you see me at my best, you know. So um, I think it, it, it could benefit certain guys and it could, it could hurt certain guys. I, I think for me, it benefits me. Talk to me about your opponent, Curtis Stevens, man. Uh, into another big puncher. Uh, initial thoughts on that fight, man. What, what, what are you expecting from him in there, and what are you going to do? Um, you know, I'm really not thinking too much about what Curtis is going to do. I'm, I'm thinking more about what I need to do. So you know, with the training camp, it's just about um, it's just about staying focused. Um, training hard, I think, you know, with me doing everything right, you know, and going into the fight 100%, you know, I feel like there's no, it's no, um, no reason why I should win by, why I shouldn't win by knockout. So, are, are, do you look for it in, the, in this kind of thing, or do you just kind of just let it come to you at this point? Uh, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you can't really, um, you know, you can't really go in there trying to get a knockout. You know, you kind of got to you kind of got to work and set it up. But, you know, you can't go into a fight with the mentality of, you know, you want to hurt a guy. You know, when you go into a fight with that mentality, you know, eventually you will end up hurting a guy. You know, so I think um, that's the type of mentality I got going into this fight. You know, plus is a, is a, is a bonus for a knockout, too. So. Oh, but just that bonus? Yeah, BKB is looking out for a bonus on a knockout. Did, did they tell you what the bonus is, or do you find out when you get uh, it? It's 30000 I'll be going for a knockout. <laughs> a couple more questions, Gabe. Um, if you win this fight against Curtis Stevens, do you plan to stay BKB, or, or are you looking forward to going back to? to no, I, I, I plan on I plan on staying, um, continue defending my title with BKB. You know, it's something like why not why not do both? You know, what I'm saying why not fight on on um, prime time boxing with traditional boxing mm -hmm. and, and BKB. You know what I'm saying, um, you know, uh, BKB treats me good. They're very professional. Um, and I think it's something that the fans, I, I see, I like being a part of BKB because it's different, right? And I think it's really something that's going to pick up. I'm saying, um, you know, how they got Soda Karaz on the card. I think eventually there'll be bigger names on the card. You know, you got me and Curtis Stevens, that's two big names, um, sh um, headlining. So I think eventually um, more fighters are going to get interested or going to be intrigued with it, you know? Um, and I definitely want to, I still have the goal of being a world champion. In traditional boxing, so you know that's something I, I want to accomplish. So um, yeah, regardless, regardless of you know with me winning, I still want to uh, defend the title at BKB. And last thing, man, what do you want to tell the fans, man? What can we expect from you April fourth? Oh, April fourth, you know, um, me and my trainer, we just bring training to bring the killer back. You know, what I'm saying, just go for the kill. Like, 
you know, fuck trying, try, fuck trying to set shit up. The, you know, what I'm saying it's like I just want to go back to kill mode. You know, what I'm saying like just go in there as soon as the bell rings, try to take them out in the first round. If not, the second, the third, whatever, whatever it is, man. Every round we gonna go out there and try to take his head off. Awesome, man. Thank you, Gabe. Great interview as always, man. Appreciate it. Good luck. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.